All right, again, this is a video for my MAE 4344 class, Senior Design, and uh, this video is part of a series on planning and scheduling, the critical path method, Gantt charts, and using this, Gantt, for this free Gantt project software. At the end of video number three, oh, and this is video number four of my three-part series. Go figure that out. Um, at the end of that last video, I realized that I didn't know how to add other roles to resources and I have figured it out. So this is just gonna be a very fast little video to show you how to do that. When I create a new project, and I'm not gonna save the current project, and I can give it a name, and I'm gonna call it multi roles, and I will go next, and I'm just gonna choose the default role set. I won't choose this software developer set, and we will go next with that, and okay, I now own this project. And now I'm going to go to Resources. No, I'm going to go to Project Properties. And what I hadn't noticed earlier is under this Product Properties, I can certainly give, I've already given the project a name. I can go to the calendar and I can set up a particular start date. And that's probably something I ought to do as one of the first things I do on any project. Set up the start date for the project. But over here under Resource Roles, I can type in a role name and I can call it team leader. And then I can add a new role to this set and let's call it FEA analysis. And add, I can then add a new role to this project and let's call it um, report writer. You're starting to get the idea. Uh, new role is manufacturing. And OK, I've added these roles to the project. Then when I add a new resource, such as a person named Johnny, I can now choose to make Johnny the FAE. Analyst is their default role. And then let me go create a task called task zero. I'm going to live with that. And I'm going to then under resources, I'm going to add Johnny and his role is FAE analyst is always his default role when I add him. But if for a while I want to make Johnny a report writer on this particular activity at uh, 75%, let's go 25%. Now let me try this. Can I add Johnny twice? You know, he's the only one I have. And so he's going to be 50% as FEA analysis on this particular activity. Let's take a look at how Johnny shows up now. And so under task zero, it shows him as 50% well, I only have one task zero, and so you just added as two pieces. All right, so you get the idea. You can, in fact, create other roles for people and so that it makes more sense when it shows up in the resources part of the project. That's all I have to say about that, uh, a quote from Forrest Gump.